My name is Chris, I'm with MyCricketForum.com and we're doing part two of our full flash uh, to Cricket using a Sprint HTC Evo 4G. Uh, we've already rooted it and installed a recovery and now we're going to put a ROM onto it. All the download locations for these files are on our form and if you look at the uh, comments for this movie, or this YouTube video, you'll be able to see where the message thread is. It'll also give detailed step-by-step -step instructions. Right now I'm taking the ROM, which is Jiminy Cricket 5 by Death Sled. He posts on uh, XDA forums. I'm taking it from uh, my location on the computer and moving it onto the Evo's SD card. I'm also making an APN backup restore file or folder. And this is where I'm going to put the APN for Cricket. I'm opening it up in Notepad. And all you'll need to do is modify the telephone number, and it's in one location. Don't call these people because they will have no idea what's going on. So I modified it, put the phone number I wanted onto it, saved it, and now I will paste the copy. This is on the Evo in an APN backup restore folder. Because later we will install APN backup restore onto the Evo, delete all the existing APNs, and restore the one we just made. Right now, I'm powering it down. It already has the ROM and the APN on it. Disconnecting it from the computer. I'm holding down the volume, the down volume key, and the power. It'll boot up, then I'll check for a PC IMG file, I believe. It won't find it. I use the down volume key and select recovery, and then the power key to select it. It'll boot up in Clockwork Mod Recovery. I use the volume keys to wipe data or factory in fact slash factory reset. Use the volume down key to get to yes. Use the power button, select it. <coughs> and I'll start wiping all the user data on the phone. So none of the settings will be there when the new ROM's installed. After that I go install from SD card and I choose a file using the volume key to find my file selected with the power. Yes, I am sure I want to install it.
So the more people that watch my videos and participate in the forum, the more I'll post. <laughs> the more I will try to make step-by-step -step videos. So you see the, a real large portion of the flashing process is actually waiting on the phone. No, that's not my baby crying in the background, so I'm not neglecting any children while making this video. I've gone back to the portion of the menu that allows me to reboot. I've selected reboot with the power button. You'll get these funny lines across the bottom. Don't worry, your phone's not messed up. Be patient on this portion too, because it will take a while for the system to write all the necessary files. It's like having the phone boot up for the very first time. I decided not to cut any of this out just to let you guys be able to know how long it really takes. There have been times where I wanted to reboot the phone and I've gotten concerned that I bricked it or whatnot, but Chances are you won't break it if you follow these instructions. still a little bit longer. Just to save time, I'm skipping through this, not really customizing anything. You can go back and set this up later.
And there you have it. That's Jiminy Cricket 5. It was custom made for Cricket by Deathsled of XDA Forums. You'll see it already has Super User in there. It's removed much of the splint, uh, Sprint bloatware. The hot, uh, hotspot's still in there because you'll still be able to use it once flashed. Alright, that was part two. Visit part three now.